We have so many data about patients with chronic hepatitis B and SCC in Asia. We have very limited information in the U.S. And we actually, hepatitis B is one of the major risk factors for hepatitis carcinoma, even in the U.S. So we think we should have more data about which patient at high risk of SCC. We have a screening like ultrasound, AFP, and we can do a diff we can make a difference by screening for early detection. They can be treated early, and then we have a chance for kill. So I think we need to find out which patient at high risk so we can screen them early. So they are all uh, VA patients, so we use the national VA database, most of all of them were veterans. So the majority are men, so age probably about minus 50 to 60 years old. We found that uh, about 10% of our patient population with hepatitis B and HCC did not have cirrhosis at the time of diagnosis. We used a very pretty stringent criteria to define non cirrhotic We make sure the biopsy didn't have any cirrhosis in there, no cirrhosis or portal hypertension in the imaging. They have no viruses. And we use a non-invasive marker we call FIP4, and if it's less than 1.84, it, they don't have cirrhosis. And that actually have pretty good uh, negative predictive value if, uh, throughout cirrhosis as well. What we are surprising, we have known before that Asian population were at high risk of SCC without cirrhosis because they acquired infection when they were like children or even vertical transmission. But uh, we found that actually African American at quite a high risk of having SCC in the absence of cirrhosis. Actually, 50% of our patients that did not have cirrhosis are actually African American, that they were even US born. So there may be some genetics factors or maybe some uh, underlying like obesity or diabetes that might play a role here. So I think right now the guideline in terms of screening patients without cirrhosis focus on Asian population. I think we probably should add the African American in the screening guideline as well. If you have any patient in your clinic that you think meet the high risk criteria of having HCC, such as those uh, African American, Asian West, they have family history of SCC or they have cirrhosis, those are high risk and they should have screening SCC every six months. You can use ultrasound with AFP or you can use MRI. So I think that's the take home that uh, if we screen them early, they, we give them a chance of like kill for therapy.